And um, look, we are, we are nearly, nearly at the end of the day, but just for a very, very quick wrap up, um, let's welcome ITIC CEO Owen Amara Walsh up to the stage, please. I'm going to need a big rapid uh, round up on this. What, what are your big sort of takeaways from well, the day? I thought it was a great day. I thought it reflected very well in the industry. Um, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Fortune Ireland Tourism and Ireland AIB, without whom this wouldn't have been possible. I mean, putting on an event like this, the quality of the speakers, the quality of the content, it's not an easy job. You know, you need kind of people to kind of fund the work program, uh, the membership uh, that are here today. I thought it reflected very well on us. Um, one thing I got out of the day was that the variety of things that affect tourism, you know, you have tech like Jess just mentioned, infrastructure at the airport, Transports. transport, Investment, marketing, everything. product, uh, regional development. It's so varied that that's what makes it, I think, a really wonderful and compelling industry to work in. And I think that's why so many of us have never got out of the industry. You know, it may not be the best paid industry. There's precious few millionaires well, well, in the room. Really interesting from... Um, from Connor's uh, presentation, you know, to see health and social care, but to see tourism so high yeah. on the meaning quotient, yeah. I thought was just very, very revealing. It just goes to show that, you know, f f for all of perhaps the money that you can get elsewhere, meaning and purpose, it was one of the key takeaways uh, I took away yeah, today. I, I, I wouldn't go as far as saying tourism is vocational, but there's, no. there's something in it in terms of very few people leave the sector entirely, mm. or some people leave and then five years later come back. And that's because we all get the bug. Yeah. Um, and it's a really, really exciting one. And, and just on, on the 40 years of ITIC, um, you know, th the one thing I'd like to convey is that all the chairs that we interviewed for that video piece and all the boards of directors uh, over those 40 years, none of them received a penny in remuneration. So I think the industry as a whole owes industry chairs and boards of directors a huge debt of gratitude. I mean, yeah. I'm paid for what I do. Arlene in the office gets paid you know, Ronan from the Advantage Group who helped us out with this conference. You know, we all get, if you like, paid for the services that we do. But the board of ITIC and, and particularly the chairs, so Neil today, Elena before him, Ruth was the previous chair, Paul Gallagher is here, this, you know, Maris Pratt who you saw is, is down the room somewhere. The previous chairs over those 40 years um, gave blood, sweat and tears. As your mum did. As my mother did, for the benefit of the industry. Um, and I think that's why the industry is in a really strong place at the moment. I know a lot of today we've been talking about, you know, kind of vulnerable but viable sector. But we're 270,000 employees, biggest indigenous industry, biggest regional employer. That doesn't just happen by chance. Other countries don't necessarily have that. And, you know, I, I always say it, but we kind of showcase the best of our country to a domestic market and an international audience. And that's something compelling. And just one other thing I got out of there, just that whole responsible ambition debate. And I think it was a really interesting one. And I, I don't think there are any easy answers. No. Um, but. This time last year, you'll recall, Derville, because you've done this every year. Sustainability. <laughs> uh, yeah. See. We were in Athlone. Um, I think a lot of you were there. Uh, and we announced, uh, Steve Conlon, actually, from the Irish Boat Rental Association, who's somewhere in the room, announced that all the Shannon boat cruisers uh, were going to move from diesel to hydro-treated vegetable oil this year. And they've done that. Yeah. And as a result, they've reduced their carbon footprint by 92%. So to my mind, that is a very clear example. <laughs> and... And obviously, you know, issues like aviation are much more complex. But what we have to strive for is, is a kind of a, a world where economic growth can live beside kind of social cohesion and in, uh, aside environmental, um, you know, uh, responsibility. Because like Jim Power, I think, mentioned, you know, if we have 10 years of, of flatlining no, or, or yeah. degrowth, we're, we're, we're in trouble. Like we won't have a conference, you know, in a few years time because we won't be in business. So there's a, there's a tricky balance. Um, I think the environmental issue probably is the most important one of all because ultimately it's a life and death uh, situation. Um, but examples of the, of the boats on the Shannon, I think, show what can be done. So I'm, I'm, I'm a half glass full person. I'm, you know, it's, it's a tough time. Hopefully the budget next week is, is, is positive uh, for us. I'm not going to repeat all the budgeting messages. Um, hopefully the Dublin Airport passenger cap can be resolved. Hopefully the region airports can grow. Hopefully there can be product investment. Alice can continue the great work marketing overseas. I'm, I'm, I'm relatively positive, but there are challenges there. But I would say if you went back to 40 years ago, 
I would say they all talked about challenges and product development it was just so listen, listen and regional balance, you know, yeah. exactly. And, and, and my mother on that VT tape, we, we plucked that out, Greg helped me, we plucked that out from um, questions and answers. I think it was during foot and mouth or during 9-11 or something. It was just interesting to look back, but word for word is kind of what I've no. been saying. <laughs> um, so I kind of feel, you know, plus ça change. Yeah. But um, I think it's a, it's a great industry. I think it's been a great day. I think everyone deserves the glass of wine yeah, that's I, waiting I, I for them think, outside. Yeah, um, for me, the biggest thing uh, was a thing that sort of just picked up across all of them was just the importance of your story. Yeah. And the, the strength of the story. Yeah. You know, right and I, 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 I thought John, John Cannon, the, the ambas ambassador uh, who's here. Not yet, uh, not, not yet, yet well, Ambassador <laughs> to be, ambassador elect, uh, told that very well. Yeah. That Ireland's, Ireland's soft power. Yeah. And that is so beneficial to tourism because, I mean, Alice would love a monster marketing budget to go to all these international countries and promote Ireland as a wonderful place. But a lot of the time, you know, it's the subliminal culture we have or, you know, um, music or something that actually puts Ireland on the map and then the likes of tourism Ireland get in behind it. And then obviously the industry and Fulcher Ireland deliver on the ground. So it's an interesting one. And, and you know, I'm a political junkie, so I love John Sopel. I thought he was great this morning. Yeah. Um, and I, who, I, I, could, you know, I could have sat for ages. Yeah, and who, who knows this time next year what, what the theme will be. But There'll be similar issues, but there's bound to be something else thrown at us. There no doubt will. But look, um, that is actually a wrap. That is what a day that we've had. And really, for me, the privilege of being with you again. And uh, what a wonderful set of guests uh, that I had. Um, you all deserve, I think I might do too, a tiny little glass of wine that is waiting for you outside. I promise to finish at four o'clock. I don't know whether I've abandoned that or not. Just to remind you, recordings of the conference will be available on the website, as will Connor's uh, research. Um, what can we say as... Um, Owen has already said, this wonderful industry has survived everything that has been thrown at it and new challenges just like the previous ones, no doubt, will be overcome. So safe travel, Sanawalia, and thank you for your time today.